Hi there, I just wanted to show you this quick video on Merch Wizard version 2.2. .2. So we've added four extra fields altogether, so three fields that are populated and a formula field to the template. And these are the marketplace, so that's an explicit field just for uh, saying which marketplace that particular listing is on. We've got the date first listed, which is, uh, as it suggests, the date that that product was first listed on Amazon. And that works on all three marketplaces, but it's worth noting that PopSockets don't have that field on there, so um, it will not be populated for that. And then thanks to one of the members of the Facebook group, Phil, for contributing this next field, which is a formula field, which basically he's got in one of his uh, bases, uh, which shows the number of days uh, pending removal for that particular product so it's going to check if it's sold or not if it's had any sales and it's not going to display it but if it is then it's going to say look this one's about to drop off in this many number of days um, finally the currency um, is now an explicit field as well so I've taken off the uh, dollar signs that were here and then you'll be able to do um, various bits and Group by the uh, marketplace, which I guess will also work for our dollars as well, and we'll be able to sum things up in dollars. Uh, in previous versions, we've only had two tables here with our listings and designs, and we're going to be expanding that out now. So we've got new listings and this thing called Scalar, which we'll come on to in a minute. So uh, your template will probably look like this with your designs, which are optionally linking to designs from your listings um, and now we're just going to expand on that basically and the idea being that this listings table will be where you keep all your live listings and you can then put things that you want to list as something new in new listings all right so i will show you the new listings and scalar tables and then we're going to have a quick look at the app Right, so the new listings basically is very similar to the listings table itself. It's got the same fields all the way across, but excluding things like the thumbnail and um, other items that you're only going to get when it's uh, actually a live listing. So we can populate this with um, something in here to say, here is my title, and I'll fill in all the information in here, and that will become searchable within the Merch Wizard Chrome extension itself. Uh, alternatively, if we want to create a scaled series, uh, we can use calling the scalar table. And this basically works on formulas, so a bit like in Excel. And I'll have a, a full video showing how this all works, but this is just a, a quick update video. Uh, so what we would have is at the end here, we're going to have some lookups. So we've got occupations in this case um, but it will work for um, you know anything you could say uh, I'm doing a, a series of straight out of t-shirts and we could have all the states at the end here and so we picked occupation and relative here so I'm um, creating these proud mom t-shirts and all the listing data for it so I've just grabbed a lot of occupations um, off the web and pasted them in there and then uh, what we'll do is just have a look at these formulas that make up these particular fields now. So in our table you can have something called a formula field. So we just drop that down there. And we've got this information here basically. So you can use this um, method here where you've got opening strings for static text. And then the ampersand there for anything that's going to be dynamic. So if I just create a, a new one here and say... I'm going to create a sample title for. I'm going to close off that with the quotes, put the ampersand, and then I can type in occupation on here. No, I can't. Yes, I can. There it is. Okay. Hit save, and it will update it for all of them. So we kind of see the potential power of that. You can uh, change that across all of these. So, uh, I've got lookups, let me just undo that, I've got lookups for each of these fields and then I think this one is just going to be a concatenation, Let's have a look, yep, okay. The other thing you can do is 
you can use uh, a concatenate function in here. So if I go on there and I'm going to say concatenate title and bullets etc. Uh, so you can crack, I'll move that. So once you've got your information in here, you can drop in your PNG files as well. I've just created some quick and dirty um, sample files in here for each one. Well, only the first five or so. And then I've just copied them down. So you've got your scale designs there. Then you can copy all of these. So I'm just going to select them all. Control C to copy. Go to our new listings. And I am going to select all and control V. Leave it on, expand the table. Paste that in there. Okay, and we'll see that that information has come in. Doesn't matter about these at the end, so anything after PNG, you can rename, you can do what you like with those, it's no problem. Okay, and then we'll go on to have a look at the extension now and see how that works. Okay, so we go up to the extension now, uh, you'll see it's just changed slightly, so that we're looking at our listings over here. Right. Let me just go on the new tab so it's a bit clearer for you to see. So uh, you can see a couple of changes. So we've added in a marketplace filter and a little flag to show the markets that uh, your design, uh, the market that your designs come from. And you can filter these at the top now and say, just show me all my designs are in the UK, or you could say, I want USA and Give me a good example, pop sockets, there we go. Okay, and we've also got this extra one here called source. So source by default is just uh, <coughs> the, your live listings, but you can flip that onto new listings and that will get us our scale designs in here. And the, there's no edit button now because there's nothing to edit as, is yet, as of yet. Um, and it, apart from that, it will just behave as expected. So you'll just click through and um, fill in the information like you would normally on the um, Merge Create screens. Okay, so to upgrade your version 2.1 base to a 2.2 base, it's actually going to be easier for most people to just take the new template here copy this base to a new one and then simply import and paste your listing data into here and your design data into there. It will bring across all your PNG files, your niches and custom tags, etc. So don't worry about that. I'll just show you how simple it is. So I'm going to go to listing, select them all, control C, copy, go to my listings here, control V, allow it to expand the table. Here we go, it's brought across the thumbnails, PNGs, niches, tags, everything. And if I go across here, we see that we've got our new fields at the end here, which will be populated next time you do an import, or you can populate them all. So if I know that these are all USA, for example, I can hit that and drag it down to imagine the majority of everyone's listings will be USA. Uh, and then I guess, yeah, same with that. Okay, so I digress. Um, let's go on to designs and let me clear these out. And go to designs here, select all, copy, go there, paste, hit that. Okay. And that's that then all your data will be in here and uh, the designs will be hooked up again so they've linked between the two so that's fine and then you'll have access to the new listings functionality and the new scaler as well uh, hopefully that's it we know we're not going to see loads of new base templates i don't think you know i think it's just going to be this is like a major upgrade and the easiest thing the easiest way to do it, i believe is just to copy your uh, listing sheets and design sheets into here and just start using the new base. Obviously you'll then want to update the API key that you use in the options within Merch Wizard, but uh, yeah, that, that should be about it. I guess for those guys that are doing it themselves, um, they can just grab, uh, this in doing it by upgrading this 
uh, sheet themselves manually. Uh, you, you know what the, the fields are going to be like. It's going to be a case of going to the end of the listings table and have a look at the types that we've added. I'm just adding these options in. So a single select, a date a formula, although this isn't mandatory, this is just uh, optional if you want that um, information to show in an easy to read format. And then we've got the currency here as well. So, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's it then. Cheers. Bye.